right. This one is about um the Type 18B sword that I keep um talking about. I usually call it the Type 18B because um it's real long as um its real name is like super long. It's a Michael Tinker Pierce Sharp and Long Sword. Because of that, because they have like a blunt trainer. There's also the bastard sword. They basically have like some base the similar grip construction with like a different pommel nut. And the bastard sword I think has like um a circular one, like a the coin type of hilt. The trainer has like the similar one, which is like the variation of the scent stopper one that I got. But um it's like a blunt trainer. Uh, this one is a uh, the long, sharp and long sword. So I got this one um, at a Cult of Athena. It's for about, it's one of the cheaper long swords, and I think this is the one that I would kind of recommend for a beginner. I paid like the extra 20 bucks for um, the sharpening service. So it ended up coming around about around to, I think it was either 220 or like 300. But, um, and another thing is that they sell like the blades uh, separately. So if you want like a make a project sword and you're like really good at making hilts, then um you can do that. The only thing problem that I have overall with this sword is basically like the hilt construction. And probably like the palm on it, because after like a little bit of use, but I have like some wear and tear on it, but this thing is pretty much my baby. I like just put some tape on it. Pretty much um make the repairs to it, I polish it a lot. Got it sharpened. It's a pretty good cutter. Um, it's also got like some pretty good thrusting ability like all around I pretty much like it it's like the all around general purpose so it's graded like super cru super thrusts super cuts generally like whatever like human maneuvers I'm trying to get to go along with it that's pretty good for that too keep mentioning that it's a type 18 B I forgot um most people may or may not know about like Oak Shop's technology so um even though like it seems like it might be a pain to learn about it and try to get it memorized, it's probably a good thing to know. So um, if you're thinking about buying a like long sword to like basically try to figure out what it is that you're kind of into, some of them are like really good at thrust, like a Type 19. Some of them are like more general, all-around purpose, like a Type 18 or a Type 20. Some of them are like really heavy choppers and basically have like almost no thrust ability, like um. The Type 10, which is like the Viking sword. So I got like a video that I can basically like post in the link about that one. But Type 18B is supposed to be the best between um, cut and thrust. Well, there's like another one called a Type 18C. If you've ever seen one of that one, which is probably, in my opinion, like the best cutter that they got for uh, Upshox Tyology, or you know, like a Type 18C. And, um, the Albion Alexandria and the Albion Principe and uh, a couple of other people have made like some too but um, those are like the most well known ones like at all the cutting competitions they pretty much got this sword and this one is uh, that's the one to go to but uh, this is uh, Michael Tinker Pierce like um, if you want to just get one if you're like okay with the uh, whole hilt thing it's like tape it together where it's like coming apart other than that, like it's pretty good, solid piece. I like it, so uh, it's pretty durable. Or at least uh, I think it's like a pretty good entry beginner sword. And then um, there are some other ones to look at, but to me, this is the one that I've used, so this is the one that I can actually like um, get my expertise on and everything. So yeah, that one was for uh, the Michael Tinker Pierce Sharp and Long Sword. You can get it on Cult of Athena. So that's it for this one, and I'll catch you in the next one.